It's been said that people in the 21st century listen with their eyes and think with their emotions. And, I would add, communicate with their hands. But what is it exactly that they're communicating? On video, it may not be what you think. In a moment, the answer to the age-old question, what do I do with my hands? What do I do with my hands? It's a question I get almost every time I put someone on camera. Hi, I'm Steve Washer, author of The Video Brain and creator of Audience Builders Blueprint 2.0. Hands seems like such an insignificant thing, but it's the canary in the coal mine. Because if you're putting yourself on camera, how your hands come across tells your viewer a lot about you as a person. And um, a lot of the advice you're getting about cameras isn't helping when it comes to projecting your on-screen persona. Now, let me explain. Have you ever been watching someone on a video and they're telling you about this, I don't know, this great teleseminar you need to opt in for, and all of a sudden, these huge Hulk hands come lunging out at you. You might not even notice it consciously, but your body winces, and then in a few seconds, Hulk hands again, and then again, and again, and again, and you shrink back and you still may not know why, and most people don't. Well, the worst part is that the person with the Hulk hands never knows why. And this is a problem, because Hulk hands say a lot about you that you might not like. One, that your enthusiasm is really salesiness. Two, that you aren't as smart and trustworthy as you are in real life. And three, that you're kind of a caricature, and nobody wants to buy from a cartoon. Now, since the whole point of doing video is to show more of who you are, and not less, let alone the wrong impression, this one little problem can gum up the whole work, so let's fix it. Now, the good news is that Hulk hands, it isn't your fault anyway. You can do whatever you want with your hands. In fact, if you talk with your hands in real life, that's exactly what you should do on camera um, most of the time. Now, in this instance, the fault is actually inside the camera. It's in something called focal length. The higher the number of the focal length, the narrower and flatter the field of view. The highest number would be found in a telephoto lens. Now, the smaller the number on the focal length, the wider and rounder the field of view becomes. That's the whole idea behind the fisheye lens. It's designed to take in a 180 degree view, so those things that are closer to the camera look a little fishy. Even if it isn't a fisheye lens, if that focal length number gets small enough, objects closer to the camera are blown up out of proportion. So, if you know someone with this kind of camera, you can help them by explaining that they're trying to show more on the screen than they should, given the focal length of their lens. The biggest offenders with the smallest focal lengths are the webcams. So, if you happen to be using a webcam, make sure you're sitting far enough away so that your hands look human. It's easy to test for. Start where you've been sitting and then just gesture in front of you. If the Hulk stares back at you, just keep moving back with your hands out in front of you until they look human again. The other option is just to not gesture towards the camera. Remember, your persona is the one and only part of your business that's uniquely you. So guard it like the crown jewel it is. At the very least, don't let your camera diminish it. You can find a lot more guidance on creating and using your persona on camera on our blog. For Seeing the Big Picture, I'm Steve Washer with BrainyVideo.com.